So you just got a PlayStation Vita and you're probably wondering now, how do I jailbreak this thing so that I can get the most out of my Vita? First you're going to go over to Settings and then System and then System Information to find out what system software you're running. Mine's at 3.74 here and I would suggest that you upgrade to this version if you are not already as it will make the jailbreaking process much easier. Next we're going to go into the web browser and type in jailbreak.psp2.dev. Then once you're in this site here, you're going to click Unlock My Vita, Next Unlock, and then Install Henkaku. Henkaku is our jailbreak, and we can confirm that it installed properly by going back into our settings and seeing Henkaku settings in the settings. That's it pretty much. You have now jailbroken your Vita. Now that we've confirmed that Henkaku is installed on our Vita, let's go ahead and check out the PSP2 jailbreak site again to download Vita Deploy. So to permanently jailbreak, you're going to want to open Vita Deploy and then click on downgrade this operating system. And we're going to downgrade to version 3.65. Now this is important because when you downgrade this way, you do two things. You first downgrade the OS, obviously, and then two, you also install Enso, which is going to be our permanent jailbreaking software. That's why I wanted you to upgrade to 3.74 earlier because when you do this, you'll get the permanent jailbreak. If you don't do it this way, you have to take some extra steps, which are a little more complicated. This is more easier. Now while the jailbreak is running and the downgrade is happening, you might want to do something else. Like I took some time and cleaned my room and then went to go put my cookies in the oven. And I'll show you what those look like later if you're curious. <laughs> Stick around to the end to check that out. The next step, which is something that's going to be super beneficial to some of you, and that's going to be increasing your PS Vita storage. And to do that, we're going to need two things, a micro SD card and an SD2 Vita. So the SD2 Vita is essentially a micro SD card adapter in the form of a PS Vita game card. You'll take the SD2 Vita and the micro SD, put them together, and then put it into the game card slot of your PS Vita. Now to prep for this to actually work, what we're first going to do is go into the file manager within Vita deploy and that we're going to move all the files from UX0 to UR0. The reason why we're doing this is because we're going to be mounting the SD2 Vita to UX0 and we don't want to lose these files that are currently there. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark all of these files using the triangle and then pressing mark all except for this one called SEL trash. Don't know what that is, but it's okay. We're going to copy, the, we're going to click move and move these files over to UR0. Anyway, now that we've moved our files over, we can then proceed with mounting the SD2 Vita to our mount point, which is going to be UX0. You're going to plug in the SD2 Vita, and if you get this message to format the, the disk, then fine, you can do that, you should be all set. If not, I will link a video to show you how to manually format the SD2 Vita, and then you can come right back here and we can pick up from where we had left off. What you're going to want to do is go into the settings again in system settings and then click on devices and then storage devices and then you're just going to swap the devices as you see here. We're going to make UMA0 the memory card and then we're going to make UX0 our ST2 Vita and then we're going to reboot. And we can confirm that this is working when we go back into system information. We can see that our capacity has changed to the storage on the SD card opposed to what it was before which is something like 4000 megabytes. Okay, so now we have our storage installed. That's all set. We can Now we can go back into Vita Deploy, and I'll just let you know some software that you can install to do some pretty cool things. You can install the Vita Shell, which is going to be very important for you to navigate the file system on the PS Vita with. You can also install Vita DB Downloader, which is some more cool add-ons from the community. Some package, which the, some P, the, the, PK, the PKGJ, which is going to be where you can install your Vita games. There's also a save manager here that you can download, which is going to help you back up your data if you ever lose it. That's very useful and that's pretty much all you need to know. At this point you should be all set with jailbreaking your Vita. You have all the general knowledge you need to be successful on your jailbreaking journey and I hope that you found some of this information in the video useful. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't like the video I encourage you highly to leave some constructive criticism into the comments. I would really appreciate that and as promised here are my cookies. They are gluten-free and they're absolutely delicious. I hope they look good to you too. You have a good day now. Peace.